Okay. We are now ready. How about a hand of applause for Philip Nemeskern, new host at the Mermaid's Tavern. Yay, well done. I'm Lynn Knoll, as you know, and this is live from the Mermaid's Tavern. And tonight we're gonna sing and talk about apples. So without further ado, we're gonna go watching the apples grow. Oops, sorry. It's early up Ontario farm, chicken crow for day. I wish I grew an apple, it's apples on the ridge above Fundy Bay. Oh, it seems so far away. On the ridge above Acadia's town, in the valley down below. The evening shadow falls upon the families, listen to the radio, and watching the apples grow. Down on the farm, back among the family, away from Ontario. Ontario, you know I've seen a place I'd rather be Your scummy lakes, the city of Toronto don't do a damn thing for me I'd wander it by the sea I'd watch the visa geese fly by in the fox boat in the snow I'd climb the ridge of Gasparo Mountain Look into the valley below And watching the apples grow Down on the farm, back among the family Away from Ontario to the men dancing at heel and toe and watching the apples grow down on the farm back among the family away from a Dario hear the ladies singing to the men dancing at heel and toe and watching the apples grow I was Stan Rogers watching the apples grow and one of my absolute favorites because my great-grandfather met my great-grandmother in an apple orchard in uh, Annapolis Valley, Nova Scotia, and I have actually walked in that apple orchard where they met, and I have climbed from there up to the top of uh, where the visa geese fly by up on Gasparo and looked down into the Annapolis Valley and seen the Plains of Evangeline spread out before me where my great-grandparents went in uh, the times of the New England planters in the 1760s. So that's always been a favorite song of mine, just because I love the place so very, 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 very much. And I love this season. I just think that September has something very special about it. And I wanted to get in a little, little plea, a, a little, you know, in praise of the apple before everything goes pumpkin shaped. And I'm just, I'm going to say this only once, and it's my own personal opinion. I'm not throwing shade on anybody here but i have you know ritually speaking i have a certain guideline which is no pumpkin spice before socks and since we do not yet have socks we do not have pumpkin spice it's still barefoot time it's sweater time and barefoot and sweater time is apple season as you can see from my wassail the apple tree shirt just move out from behind the camera there so you can admire my fabulous Headingham Fair shirt. Go Karen Cater. A little shout out to Karen and Colin there for their beautiful artwork of apple trees and wassails. So I managed to collect really for the first time. I have never done this program before. So this is a first time online. All of my absolute favorite apple songs of which I'm astounded to discover there are many. So this next one is one I have known since I was a wee bairn. Um, it came from one of my father's old uh, New Christy Minstrels albums called Appleseed John. Oh, my name. Oh, my name is Johnny Appleseed John. It's a big, wide, wonderful world we're in. Sweet red, green, and golden apples grow wherever I've been. Oh, I will be your love forever. I'll be the star you wish upon. All your wishes I'll fulfill, or my name ain't Appleseed John. My name is Johnny Appleseed John. It's a big, wide, wonderful world we're in. Sweet red, green, and golden apples grow wherever I've been. 
I must journey across the river, cross the trail where the hail leads west. When I come back, what shall I bring to the dear one I love best? Johnny, bring me purple flowers, herbs that grow where the great waters fall. Sweet red, green, and golden apples I love best of all. Well, he brought bouquets of purple flowers, fresh penny royal and catnip too. But in all the land of the great frontier, not a single apple tree grew. So he said to the folks at the cider presses, give me a pulp when the nectar's gone. I'll scatter seeds in the wildernesses, or my name made Appleseed John. Oh, my name is Johnny Appleseed John, it's a big, wide, wonderful world we're in. Sweet red, green, and golden apples grow wherever I've been. Now shade yourself from the blaze of summer, eat all you can and fill up your sack. And drink a toast to Appleseed John as you sip your apple jack. For my name is Johnny Appleseed John, it's a big, wide, wonderful world we're in. Sweet red, green, and golden apples grow wherever I've been. Yes, my name is Johnny Appleseed John, it's a big, wide, wonderful world we're in. Sweet red, green, and golden apples grow wherever I've been. Appleseed John. Hi, David, I see you there. David Ingerson from Seattle. Yay, welcome. Nice to have you. And uh, uh, Appleseed John has been a favorite of mine since, of course, we live about, what, Philip, an hour from Lemonster? And that is the uh, hometown of um, John Carver, Johnny Appleseed, who went, and that was a true story about how he uh, carried all sorts of apples and the, the, the mast or the cheese from the cider press in his pack and uh, took it all out uh, all the way across the West where we have all of the wonderful heirloom apples that we have today. And still in the Pioneer Valley, there are fabulous, fabulous apple orchards. And one of the things that I miss very much about the next two weekends is the apple tours where the Morris dancers go out and dance in the apple orchards and everybody goes out and picks and hangs out with the Morris dancers. And that's, uh, I think that's why I'm doing this program tonight because I really wish that we were out with the Morris dancers picking apples and uh, having a party. So I'm going to give you a couple of Acadian songs um, about apples and um, apples at market. So the first one is uh, from um, Western France, uh, Pommier Du, I believe it's um, from the Brittany region, uh, but uh, it's in French. And it's uh, also well known, sorry, uh, I went to the market, um, well known in uh, Quebec as well, which is where I learned it. Um, but we'll take... Um, the older of the two first, and then we'll take another look at a, another kind of Appleseed John. So I'll give you two um, French songs. The first one is called a chanson macaronique. It's half and half, um, English and French. And um, actually, I said I learned this in Quebec. I misspoke. I learned this one in New Brunswick, where everybody is like that, comme ça. And when you are beginning to parler français, it doesn't matter whether you're anglais or français. Tous les deux pensent à la même, à la même chose. Everybody's talking mixed up. And that's just, comme it's, uh, just that's how it is, comme ça. So uh, that will give you a little bit of feeling for what it was like in my times in New Brunswick, um, working for the Park Service. Canadian Park Service, of course. I went to the market, mon petit panier sous mon bras. I went to the market, mon petit panier sous mon bras. The first girl at the mat was la fille d'un avocat. I love you, vous ne m'entendez guère. I love you, vous ne m'entendez pas. I love you, vous ne m'entendez guère. I love you, vous ne m'entendez pas. The first girl at the mat was la fille d'un avocat. The first girl at the mat was la fille d'un avocat. She said, what have you got dans ce beau petit panier là? I love you, vous ne m'entendez guère. I love you, vous ne m'entendez pas. I love you, vous ne m'entendez guère. I love you, vous ne m'entendez pas. The first girl that I met was la fille d'un avocat. The first girl that I met was la fille d'un avocat. She said, what have you got dans ce beau petit panier là? I love you, vous ne m'entendez guère. I love you, vous ne m'entendez pas. I love you, vous ne m'entendez guère. I love you, vous ne m'entendez pas. 
Chut, madame, madame, monsieur, what have you got dans ce beau petit panier là? Monsieur, what have you got dans ce beau petit panier là? I've got some apples, non, n'achetez vous pas. I love you, vous ne m'entendez guère. I love you, vous ne m'entendez pas. I love you, vous ne m'entendez guère. I love you, vous ne m'entendez pas. I've got some apples, non, n'achetez vous pas. I've got some apples, non, achetez vous pas. Oh, give me two dozen, pay le bonhomme te paiera ça. I love you, vous n'entendez guère. I love you, vous ne m'entendez pas. I love you, vous ne m'entendez guère. I love you, vous ne m'entendez pas. Oh, give me two dozen, pay le bonhomme te paiera ça. Give me two dozen, pay le bonhomme te paiera ça. I gave her two dozen, mais le bonhomme n'y paye pas. I love you, vous ne m'entendez guère. I love you, vous ne m'entendez pas. I love you, vous ne m'entendez guère. I love you, vous ne m'entendez pas. I gave her two dozen, mais le bonhomme n'y paye pas. I gave her two dozen, mais le bonhomme n'y paye pas. That's what you get avec une fille d'un avocat. I love you, vous ne m'entendez guère. I love you, vous ne m'entendez pas. I love you, vous ne m'entendez guère. I love you, vous ne m'entendez pas. I went to the market. Thank you for the applause. I see you applauding. Yay. Thank you. That's great. In your in your little teeny tiny boxes, I can still see you all. Hi, Tracy. Hi, folks. Yay, I see you. <laughs> in your tiny tiny boxes. That's great. Um, okay, so that one uh, was uh, came from the old country, as it were. Um, I've had it in from Brittany, from New Brunswick, and from Quebec. Uh, this one is from La Cadzie, which is also New Brunswick. Um, a French-speaking part of New Brunswick, and this is a story about what the Acadians brought with them when they went um, from when they um, crossed the sea from France. And uh, the translation loosely is: "Behind my father's house, there's an apple tree. Surprise, surprise! There's often a tree, and this time it's an apple tree." And uh, the leaves are green, the fruit is sweet, and three princesses are sleeping underneath the tree and one of them wakes up and says oh my sisters it's dawn we we need to get up no 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 it's not dawn it's only the star that lights our days and lights our nights because our lovers are away at war and they're fighting for us and i wish that if they if they win the battle they will have our hearts and the other sister says oh don't be silly they have those anyway whether they win or lose so that's all the verses, which have nothing to do with the chorus, um, which is, I have grains of wheat, I have grains of corn, I have an orange tree, I have some tricoli, which is also some grain, I have um, um, flint and steel, I have a blooming laurel, we're getting a little sketchy here for what we actually take on the ship, um, and then we get it as a, 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 some turlut. I have some z, some zinazi, and the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful birds. De beau, de j'ai de beau, j'ai de beau, j'ai de beaux oiseaux. And I'm not going to play this. And hopefully, in another couple of months, I'll be able to foot clog again because this one usually goes like this. But that's about as much of that as I can do, especially when I'm with my feet on a case of root beer. But it works. <laughs> Par derrière chez mon père, il y a un pommier doux, il y a un pommier doux. Les feuilles en sont vertes et le fruit en est doux. Oh, j'ai les grains de mie, j'ai les grains de paille, j'ai de l'oranger, j'ai du tri, j'ai du chocoli, j'ai des allumettes, j'ai des ananas, les pires fusils, les rêves fleuris, j'ai du zi, j'ai des zinzi, j'ai des zinzi, j'ai des zinzo, j'ai des beaux, j'ai des beaux, j'ai des beaux oiseaux. Les feuilles en sont verts et le fruit en est doux et le fruit en est doux. Les trois filles d'un prince sont endormies dessous. Oh, j'ai les grains de mie, j'ai les grains de paille, j'ai de l'oranger, j'ai du tri, j'ai du chocolat, j'ai des élimates, j'ai des ananas, les pires fusils, les vrais fleuris. J'ai du zi, j'ai du zinzi, j'ai du zinzende, j'ai des zinzo, j'ai de beaux, j'ai de beaux, j'ai de beaux oiseaux. Les trois filles d'un prince sont endormies dessous, sont endormies dessous. La plus jeune se réveille des marsars et les jours. 
J'ai les ranobilles, j'ai les ganapailles, j'ai l'angé, j'ai du tri, j'ai le chocolat, j'ai des animatés, j'ai des ananas, les pyrafusées, le riz fleuri, j'ai du zi, j'ai du zénézi, j'ai du zénézi, j'ai du zénézo, j'ai du beau, j'ai du beau, j'ai de beaux oiseaux. La plus jeune se réveille, dit ma sœur, et les jours, dit ma sœur, et les jours. Oh, ce n'est qu'une étoile qui éclaire nos amours. Oh, j'ai les reins de billes, j'ai les reins de paille, j'ai de l'oranger, j'ai du tri, j'ai du chocolat, j'ai des élumettes, j'ai des ananas, les fers à fusil, le lorais fleuri, j'ai du zi, j'ai des zénési, j'ai des zénézénés, j'ai des zénézos, j'ai de beaux, j'ai de beaux, j'ai de beaux oiseaux. Nos amants sont en guerre, qui combattent pour nous, qui combattent pour nous. S'ils gagnent la bataille, ils auront nos amours. Oh, oui, j'ai les grains de mie, j'ai les grains de paille, j'ai de l'oranger, j'ai du tri, j'ai du chocolat, j'ai des animatés, j'ai des inalas, le pire fusil, le vrai fleuri, j'ai du zi, j'ai des inési, j'ai des inésénés, j'ai des inésos, j'ai de beaux, j'ai de beaux, j'ai de beaux oiseaux. Nos amants sont en guerre, qui combattent pour nous, qui combattent pour nous. S'il gagne ou s'il perd, il les aura toujours. Oh, j'ai les reins de mie, j'ai les reins de paille, j'ai de l'oranger, j'ai du tri, j'ai le ducoulis, j'ai les inumettes, j'ai les ananas, les pires fusils, les lorais fleuris, j'ai du zi, j'ai des zénési, j'ai des zénézénés, j'ai des zénézos, j'ai de beaux, 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 j'ai de beaux oiseaux. Thank you. I've been uh, spending a couple of spending my Mondays in a session from Brittany, which I absolutely adore. Um, and I sang that one, and that was what the what the French uh, call une, une chanson fort. It's a good strong song, and I have to agree. It's uh, it gives a it gives a good start to a session. Kicks that one right off. So that was I went to the market and Le Pommier Doux, both uh, from uh, uh, Acadian, New Brunswick, and Quebec. Um, so now that we have introduced the apple tree and its fruits and sown a, a little um, tree from here to there, uh, it's going to be apple picking time. So I'm going to do two songs in a row about apple picking time. Uh, one called The Apple Picker's Real by Larry Hansen and the other one by a one-time colleague of mine in Wisconsin, uh, Tom Pease, uh, did uh, apple picking, just apple picking time. So I'm going to play the two of them as a medley. Makes you feel so fine Standing in the orchard in the bright sunshine Hey, oh, don't you feel so free Sitting on top of an apple tree Up in the morning before the sun I don't get home until the day is done Pick sacks heavy and my shoulders sore But I'll be back tomorrow to pick some more Hey, oh, makes you feel so fine Knocking off the court, looking out across the orchard In the bright sunshine Hey, oh, makes you feel so free Sitting on top of an apple tree Start at the bottom and you pick them from the ground And you pick the tree clean all the way around Then you set up your ladder and you climb up high And you look through leaves at the clear blue sky Three-legged ladder, wobbly as hell Reaching for an apple, whoops, almost fell Twenty-pound sack hacking round my neck Three more apples that I can't quite get Hey ho, makes you feel so fine Looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine Hey ho, makes you feel so free Sitting on top of an apple tree Hey ho, makes you feel so down Picking up windfalls crawling on the ground Hey ho, you feel so free Sitting on top of an apple tree Hey ho, won't you lose your mind Sit, sing the song about a hundred times Hey ho, don't you feel so free Sitting on top of an apple tree Hey ho, makes you feel so fine Looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine Hey ho, makes you feel so free Sitting on top of an apple tree Apple picking time in the morning Apple peeling afternoon Apple pie served in the evening With a banjo picking too Apple picking time in the morning, apple peeling afternoon. Apple pie served in the evening with a banjo picking too. Bring along your bucket, bring along your basket, bring along your garland too. Gonna find some apple trees and pick ourselves a few. Sing it while you're walking, sing it while you're talking, sing it an apple song. Singing and dancing, legs like branches, pick and sing all day long. Apple picking time in the morning. 
fire served in the evening with banjo picking too. Apple picking time in the morning, apple peeling afternoon. Apple pie served in the evening with a banjo picking too. Climbing with a sack, branches on your back, branches scratching on your belly. Bruising those apples, bouncing off your head, gonna put them in the jelly. Fill up your buckets and you fill up your baskets and you fill up your socks and shoes. Stuff them in your pockets and stuff them in your jackets so you feel like an overstuffed goose. Apple picking time in the morning, apple peeling afternoon. Apple pie served in the evening with a banjo picking too. Apple picking time in the morning, apple peeling afternoon. Apple pie served in the evening with a banjo picking too. Apple picking time, and the apple picker's real. We've still got a good couple of weeks of apple picking, so don't rush me yet. We haven't actually been out to pick, because one of the things that I love the best this time of year is picking them and using my mother's and my grandmother's apple corer, which is a fabulously steampunk device with a long pointy bit and a couple of geary bits, and you stick the apple on the end, and you clamp it by the sink and you make it go round and round and the apple goes whoop and comes out in a great big concertina spiral. And it's just my absolute favorite thing to make apple concertinas. I love them. So we're going to go picking some apples in the next couple of weeks because fall has not been canceled. This is very important to know. Many, many things have been canceled. Mars tours in the, in the orchards have been canceled. The apples are still there. So we may go out to Neshoba Valley. We may go out to a couple of the ones on um, out in, in Lincoln or in Stowe and Acton. Uh, but we're going to be heading out to the apple trees in the next couple of weeks. And after that, we're going to feel a lot like this. But not till October. My long two-pointed ladders sticking through a tree toward heaven still. And there's a barrel that I didn't fill beside it. And there may be two or three apples I didn't pick upon some bough. But I am done with apple picking now. Essence of winter sleep is on the night. The scent of apples. I'm drowsing off. I cannot rub the strangeness from my sight I got from looking through a pane of glass I skimmed this morning from the drinking trough and held against the world of hoary glass. It melted, and I let it fall and break. But I was well upon my way to sleep before it fell, and I could tell what form my dreaming was about to take. Magnified apples appear and disappear, stem end and blossom end, and every fleck of russet showing clear. My instep arch not only keeps the ache, it keeps the pressure of a ladder round. I feel the ladder sway as the boughs bend, and I keep hearing from the cellar bin the numbing, rumbling sound of load on load of apples coming in. For I have had too much of apple picking. I am overtired of the great harvest I myself desired. There were ten thousand thousand fruit to touch, cherish in hand, lift down, and not let fall. For all that struck the earth no matter if not bruised or spiked with stubble, went surely to the cider apple heap, as of no worth. One can see what will trouble this sleep of mine, whatever sleep it is. Were he not gone, the woodchuck could say whether it is like his long sleep, as I describe it coming on, or just some human sleep. That was after apple picking by Robert Frost who spent some time, as I did, at Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire, which is surrounded by fabulous apple orchards in the, in the Tritown Valley. And it gets to be time, after apple picking, to enjoy cider, sweet or hard, fall or spring. I'm going to give you a couple of songs. Um, and the first one, I love this song because... It is straight out of some vintage pate film making from 1967, where they showed a wonderful film. I put it up on my wall tonight, so you can go and look at it on my Facebook page. 
that uh, in 1967 they were giving a story about Somerset cider, Somerset in England, and this huge pile of apples and a guy in a farmer's smock rolling them in, um, getting them all mashed up into what they call apple cheese, and then pressing it all out. And in Somerset, they have some of the largest apple cider barrels and bins and vats and tons that you have ever seen. And there is a tradition at many of the houses of, of uh, brewing of naming them after famous local folks with a connection to the Somerset region. And one of them was named for the Wurzels who are the authors of this piece that has just become a classic tankard swinging cider song. And that again, like many, I learned in the middle bar at, at Sidmouth. So here is uh, Drink Up Thy Cider. Drink up your cider, George, pass this around the mug. Drink up the cider, George, your garden's very night dug. Your cheeks been getting redder from charter house to cheddar. And there's still more cider in the jug. Drink up your cider, drink up your cider. For tonight will Mary be. We'll knock the churns over and roll them in the clover. The corn's half cut and so be we. Drink up your cider, George, and get up off the mat. Drink up the cider, George, put on my Sunday hat. Cause we're up to bar of gurneys to see my brother Ernie. And there's still more cider in the back. Drink up the cider, drink up the cider. For tonight we'll marry be. We'll knock the mill churns over and roll them in the clover. The corns have cut and so be we. Drink up the cider, George, it's time you had a rest. Drink up the cider, George, the finest ever pressed. There ain't nothing like good cider to make your smile go wider, and there's still more cider in the West. Drink up your cider, drink up your cider, for tonight we'll marry be. We'll knock the milk turns over. Be we, yes, we'll knock the milk churns over and roll them in the clover. The corns have cut, and so be we. Drink up the cider. And happily have I done so. There is a particular cheddar cider that is the fluorescent orange of really classic mac and cheese. And <laughs> I am so fond of the stuff, it has a kick like a mule. And it goes down like orange soda, but it's lovely. It's lovely, lovely stuff. So that was a toast to Somerset Cider and Devon Cider as well. And I have drunk my share. So I have a cameo appearance by my better half at this point. So I'm going to invite Philip Nemeskern to come over and sing his father's favorite cider song. And you're going to sing it with me. You can come yes. and stand right here. Thank you. There we go. Let's see. There we go. All yep. right on the low side, but that'll do. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Yes. Okay. Da -da 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 -dum. Da -dum -dum. The prettiest girl. The prettiest girl. I ever saw. I ever saw. Was sipping side. Was sipping through a straw. Dirt through a straw. The, the prettiest girl I ever saw. Was sipping cider through a straw. I asked that gal. He asked that gal. To show me how. To show him how. To sip that cider. To sip that cider through a straw. Through a straw. He I asked that gal to show me how. To sip that cider through a straw. And cheek to cheek. And cheek to cheek. And jaw to jaw. And jaw to jaw. We sip that cider. We sip that cider through a straw. And knife to cheek and jaw to jaw, we sip that cider through a straw. And now and then, and now and then, that straw would slip. That straw would slip, and we'd slip cider lip to lip. And now and then, that straw would slip, 
and we would say hide earth rip to lip. And now I have and now he has a mother in law a mother in law from sipping side or through a straw. And now I has a mother in law from sipping cider through a straw. The moral is the moral of, of this little tale. This little tale is to drink your cider from a pail. The moral, the moral of this little, little tale is drinking cider from a pail. Happily so. Okay. Happily so. As long as the pail has two straws. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, huzzah! Yeah. Special thanks to Philip Nimskern. Yay! <laughs> okay. So the last in my set of cider drinking songs um, is a Breton song. I had a um, short and um, notably colorful uh, stint with a Breton band about how many years ago. Um, and uh, this is one of the things I collected upon my travels. It's called Son au Chistre, or the Song of the Cider. And I'm going to make my apologies in advance to Brigitte Clareg because I did not check the pronunciation with her. So Brigitte, this is my audition for you. Ef shistra laurak, shistra mat lon la, ef shistra laurak, shistra mat. Ef shistra laurak, shistra mat, or blank or blank, or shopinar lon la, or blank or blank, or shopinar. A shistra zo gret vit potere lon la, a shistra zo gret vit potere. A shistra zo gret vit potere, a gar merhet vit pot keret lon la, a gar merhet vit pot keret. Karom pepini e hini lon la, karom pepini e hini. Karom pepini e hini, voi koit za zen kao jalousi lon la, voi koit za zen kao jalousi. If she's tra laura, she's tra mad lon la. If she's tra laura, she's tra ma. If she's tra laura, she's tra ma. Or blank or blank, or shopping all lon la. Or blank or blank, at shopping all. So now she's tra, from Brittany. Thank you. And one of these days, I'll get that uh, listened to by my Breton friends. Because it's been 15 years or more since I sang that, but it was irresistible not to put it in this set. So while we're in the uh, endangered languages section of the program, we're going to go from Breton to Gaelic. And uh, I'm going to give you a lovely Irish piece that I had. Uh, I, I originally learned from Diane Taraz, but I think both of us learned it from uh, Niamh Parsons. And in case anybody wonders, this is a bass dulcimer. And this is one of Philip's favorite songs, so this is for you. More passing fear is my heart's delight. Her heart shines out through her two eyes so bright. And the bloom of the apple in her cheeks so bright and her neck like the swan in a march moon bright he starts a maruin 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 he starts a maruin he you are my delight and my comfort at night and i'll wrap you up tight in my arms Oh, love of my heart, my fair Pashtin, your lips are as red as the rose she. But mine have touched no other I than the glass that I drank to the health of my queen. He saw some My delight and my comfort at night, and I'll wrap you up 
locked tight in my arms. Were I in the town where sports prevail, between two barrels of not thrown ale, my fun pushing upon my knees. You are my delight and my comfort at night And I'll wrap you up tight in my arms Kind friends and neighbors, they say I go From all the prettiest girls I know But from you, my dear Oh, never, no, no, till I lie in the coffin stretched cold and low. He starts a muttering, muttering, muttering. He starts a muttering, it's my You are my delight and my comfort at night, and I'll wrap you up tight in my arms. You are my delight and my comfort at night And I'll wrap you up tight in my arms And Pa thank you And David Ingerson, that one's for you I know you you love the old Irish songs as much as I do David is a Shun Nuss singer. I think he's going to be joining us in the Mermaid's Tavern one of these days soon, I hope. So, while we're in Ireland, couldn't resist my absolute favorite, <laughs> I'll show my age, my favorite Judy Collins song. And I don't actually know whether she set this tune or not I, because I don't have my albums anymore. But I certainly have known this since about 1974. I went out to the hazel wood because a fire was in my head and got and peeled a hazel wand and hooked a berry to a thread and when white moths were on the wing and moth-like stars are flickering out I dropped the berry in a stream and caught a little silver trout. When I had laid it on the floor, I went to blow the fire aflame. But something rustled on the floor, and something called me by my name. It had become a glimmering girl, with apple blossom in her hair who called me by my name and ran and vanished in the brightening air though i am old with wandering through hollow lands and hilly lands i will find out where she has gone and kiss her lips and take her hands and walk among long dappled grass and pluck till time and times are done the silver apples of the moon the golden apples of the sun William Butler Yeats Thank you. I love that. It's just such a lovely, lovely, gentle piece. And apple season goes well through into pumpkins 
goes through Thanksgiving into hot cider and apple pie time and then brings us all the way in to the Christmas season, which has a very, very special role for the apple tree. So I'm going to finish off with two songs. One, it's very, very difficult to sing around by yourself. And it's not possible to sing these on Zoom, but I hope you will sing with me because I love this ch just adorable little round by Lorraine Lee to uh, the tune of um, Have You Seen the Ghost of John? Swirling snowflakes, wind... <clears throat> Let me get that. Too many tunes in my head. <laughs> Swirling snowflakes, winter wind, how will welcome wild November in Ginner, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, clove, simmer in the cider in the old wood stove. Swirling snowflakes, winter wind, welcome wild November in cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, clove, shimmer in the cider in the old wood stove. Swirling snowflakes, winter wind, have you welcome wild November in cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, clove, simmer in the cider in the old wood stove. Recipe for hot cider, which one of these days I'll sing with all of you in a great big, great big round. So we've had a couple of apple tree spirits. We've had um, really in some ways, here in Massachusetts anyway, um, Appleseed John is considered a, a tree spirit in a lot of ways, but we certainly have had um, the the beloved uh, with the uh, bloom in the apple in her cheeks so bright, and we've had the glimmering girl with apple blossoms in her hair, the implication that she's the apple tree herself. And so now we have the old man of the apple tree. Uh, long, long ago, in the dim, distant reaches of the 1990s, there was a book that had in it a Somerset folktale. Obviously, I don't have enough books because I don't know which book it was. But somewhere, I found a book that had this story in it, and I wrote these words to adapt the story to the Apple Tree Wassail. So... Uh, I thank you all for joining us tonight. You may notice that uh, down in the left-hand corner, you'll see my new logo, uh, mermaidstavern.com. If you are interested in dropping a little in the tip jar, like everybody else, pays for new equipment for the studio and helps us to support uh, the occasional fundraiser for musicians that need a little bit of a boost to join us in the digital realm. Um, so anything that you donate in there goes to Digital Heritage Consulting uh, to be used for good purpose. Um, and you can also, if I sent you the link tonight and you are not on the mailing list, you can go to www.mermaidstavern.com and sign up for the mailing list so you'll get the Zoom links to our weekly sessions. Uh, first Sundays are Tavern Sings, second and fourth Sundays are Ballad Sings, third Sundays are Shanty Sings, and for this fall, we're going to have an alternate Thursdays where once a month I do something from my library, which as you can see is as yet unplumbed. Um, and then I have a special guest every other Thursday. And my special guest um, is a little early this month. My special guest is actually John Roberts, who is co-sponsored with the Folk Song Society of Greater Boston. So he's actually going to be on next Sunday night, the 20th, not, not this coming, but a, a week Sunday. Um, so there's going to be no Thursday because I'm hoping you'll all come to see John. Yay, John Roberts. And our um, October session is uh, Sarah Lynch, um, fine, fine ballad singer. So that's the uh, coming up schedule on the Mermaid's Tavern. So please join the mailing list if you haven't already. Toss a beverage in the tip jar, help keep live music online. And uh, I'm going to finish off with this one from Somerset, The Apple Tree Man, to the tune of The Apple Tree Wassail. In Somerset there lived two sons of a farmer who passed away. The eldest son was vain and mean, the younger merry and gay. To the elder son was left the farm, to his brother now gave he. But a tiny plot with a feeble ox, a donkey and apple tree. 
Old apple tree will wassail thee, and hoping thou wilt bear. The Lord does know where we shall be to be married another year. To blow well and to care well and to marry, let us be. Let everyone drink up a cup, here's health to the old apple tree. Good husbandman was the younger son, he tended the younger son, he tended the ox and ass. He patched the stable walls and roof, and he led them to sweet grass. And he poured the cider round about, and a wassail song sang he. With the spirit guard of the orchard wood, the man of the apple tree. On Christmas Eve, the rent from him his brother did demand. At midnight the elder should summon him to where treasure lay on the land. To the farmer spoke the apple tree man in a voice so rich and rare. Go dig beneath the apple tree, the treasure awaits you there. The younger son went to the tree and he dug as he was told. There beneath the roots he found a wooden chest heavy with gold. Hide it away, it now is yours, said the voice from out the tree. Your brother called to the stable door as he bid you merrily. Old apple tree will wassail thee, I'm hoping no affair. The Lord does know where we shall be to be merry another year. To blow well and to bear well and so merry, let us be. Let everyone drink up a cup, here's health to the old apple tree. The elder son went silently to the stable door did creep, but the ox and ass, as once foretold of the treasure, they did speak. He thinks to learn the greedy fool where the treasure lies from me, said the ox, and the ass replied, "Twas taken long since from the tree. The apple tree man spoke not a word as he stood in the orchard good, was shook with mirth, and an apple rolled to his feet where the farmer stood. So the greedy son he went without, while the wise one prospered free. And each Christmas tide, for all his days, he was sailed the apple tree. Old apple tree will wassail thee, and hoping thou wilt bear. The Lord does know where we shall be to be merry another year. To blow well and to bear well and so merry, let us be. Let everyone drink up a cup, here's health to the old apple tree. To blow well and to bear well and so merry, let us be. Let everyone drink up a cup, here's health to the old apple tree. Wassail! Thank you. Thank you all for staying with me tonight. It was lots of fun. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed it. And don't forget, we have months of a whole month of apple time yet before we even think about the P word. Uh, so get yourself some cider cold or fresh or Normandy or Somerset or hot or any way you like it. Uh, and always remember, no pumpkin spice before socks. <laughs> so thank you all. Good night. <laughs>